hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel and today's video is going to be about me explaining my arbon journey and what i do when i do do it as in the lifestyle not the 30 days to healthy living because the 30 days to healthy living is so different but um, I have done it before, so if you're interested, definitely DM me or message me. Um, I can give you more information if that's something that obviously you're interested in. I have had a couple of people been messaging me lately. Yes, I still um, am a consultant for Arbonne, so if you have any questions, yes, feel free to message me and I will be glad to answer them. Um, on the next clips, you'll see basically what my day consists of once I'm doing Arbonne as a lifestyle. Again, I'm not on the 30-day detox cleanse, but I do know how to do it if you're interested as well. But this is just my lifestyle, how I do it every day, Monday through Friday at least. I try my best. Um, on the weekends, I do tend to slack or eat bad or drink even. But as far as Monday through Friday, I do my best to incorporate it into my lifestyle. And it's been so easy um so yeah you guys this is just my quick intro and i'll let you guys see for yourselves okay you guys so this is pretty much my morning routine so i grab a skin elixir and these are products from arbonne that i use and that i truly love because i'll have to do a little story time which will come right after this oh and this is my gut health it's um it's good for digestion it has prebiotics probiotics and enzymes supports a healthy micro micro so this is so i do two i do this one and then my skin elixir and Normally, I do sometimes eat vegetables, not all the time, so this is perfect for all you people that do not like vegetables. You get your dose of vegetables, and I believe it has um, 36 fruits and vegetables inside of here, so it's actually really, really good, and you guys, let me just put you up on game. If you're the type that gets constipated or like has trouble going to the bathroom, I don't know why one scoop of this just does it for me I don't I have no idea why it just helps me out I can have a bad bad weekend you know eating out bad and doing you know drinking and whatever and as soon as I have my morning shot which is all this it's like I'm all better and I get rid of all the bad toxins I had so this is basically a lifestyle. You can, however, do the 30 days to healthy living, but I've done it, I think, like twice per year. And it's helped me out a lot. I did it one time and then I got pregnant after I finished and then I did it another time right after I had the baby. So pretty much this is it. Let me just clean up right here real quick because I did a little bit of a mess. then you do want to have one of these and just mix it make sure it mixes good because I don't like tasting the powder that's gross but this is good so so delicious and yes guys I do take my prenatal vitamins with this I do take the skin elixir which is a collagen builder There you go. But I also like to take my prenatals because I did just have a baby, so I want to make sure that I'm getting all my vitamins in. It's very important that after you have a baby, you keep taking your prenatals. Um, I was told by my doctor that I keep taking them, so I'm gonna keep taking them. So I do this and I grab my prenatal, one pill. And voila and here goes my prenatal and my drink delicious guys mm -mm -mm. okay you guys so I forgot to record this part which I already blended this 
but um, I'm doing my shake now and um, this is a plant-based product everything from Arbonne is plant-based 100% vegan and gluten free so I know a lot of people are really about gluten so this is actually really great and um, I did add some frozen strawberries that I bought from Trader Joe's but you can just get them anywhere and I did that with the strawberries and then of course I did my um, oat milk which is so good and I just blended it so it kind of tastes like a smoothie because the strawberries are frozen which is why I love it because I don't have to add ice anymore I love like like frozen smoothies like fraps all that I love so to me this tastes bomb but some people do just the regular strawberries non-frozen and then they add ice or they don't add ice it's just to your preference but this is just how I like mine so yeah and just so you guys know, I did add two scoops of that protein. And then I do drink my 32 ounce of cup. And I try to fill this cup at least, I want to say, four to five times a day to get my intake of water. Guys, water is so very important, especially if you're trying to remain healthy and drop water weight. This is very, very important. Now for the taste test. So bomb you guys you guys have to try this i kid you not i have tried so many different different protein shakes by far this is the best protein shake i've ever had and not only is does it taste good but the ingredients are great and if you don't believe me you guys can check out my page um i am a consultant with arbon i'll be linking my page down below so you guys can go ahead and check it out if interested so bomb And this is my breakfast you guys quick and easy and it takes about five minutes okay you guys so here i am drinking my protein shake mm -mm -mm. so delicious so i did want to make a video um in regards to my arbon journey because i know a couple of people have asked like how does it work what do you do do you have to deprive yourself from eating um do you have to give up food? Is it only shakes? Um, I just have had a lot of questions throughout my journey and I just wanna answer them all here with this video. So before anything, I started this journey back in 2020. Um, I believe it was in July. So the hottest time of the year where you just crave a cold michelada with lots of ice, tahin, and your chamoy, but I did go in with a mindset and my mindset was to be healthier. There was a point in my life where I felt really, really health unhealthy, which was last year around between after May, I would say, after right after COVID because, you know, we were home, we were cooking, we were eating everything. Like, I think I ate a lot from um, just having anxiety and I didn't realize it. And for those of you that don't know, I do suffer a lot from anxiety. And um, I did think that it was like a normal thing. Like I just thought like, hey, this is the way to live. Like people suffer from anxiety. It's okay, it's normal. Like some people have it. Like it's not an unnormal thing, you know? But I didn't, I really, really failed to realize that it was a lot of the food that I was eating, like the ingredients, the way it was cooked. Um, a lot of it had a lot of that played a huge part of my anxiety so if you if you're a type of person that suffers from anxiety pay attention to your ingredients in your food that's all i have to say like i'm not even here to sponsor or, or show off or anything like that like i'm not here to sell anything i'm just here to tell you that pay attention to the ingredients in your food because a lot of those ingredients give you anxiety and I learned that the hard way you know and so yeah back to the subject so last year around July I um, was introduced to Arbonne and um, 
I decided to try it and it was it was not only myself but it was my husband and I which made it things so much easier because I knew damn well going into a detox by myself was gonna be super hard because I would still have to cook my husband his foods you know so I felt like I'm gonna fail miserably you know but my husband I don't think he cared too much about doing the gut cleanse but I think he went in there just to be supportive and shout out to you babe because if it wasn't for you I wouldn't have been able to do it by myself but um yeah he went and we both did it we both went in ham I mean we literally went to birthday parties I believe it was also fourth of July and we stick to it all the way all the 30 days Arbon is a product that is plant-based, 100% um, vegan, obviously, and gluten-free. So when you're doing your 30-day gut cleanse, which is essentially what it is, you cannot be drinking beer. You cannot have um, some type of foods that are very, very bad. And it's 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 a whole like scenario. But um, for those of you that have subscribed to my channel and that you've done it. I know you guys have felt so great because I've received nothing but positive feedback from all my friends that have done it. I believe there's been only like two or three that really didn't like, I don't think they didn't like it, but I just think that they didn't stick to it all the way. So, I mean, obviously you have to put a big, yourself plays a huge part on this detox. If you give it your 100%, then it's going to give you 100% back results. But if you're only in it for like, 40% then guess what you don't expect a hundred percent results and that's straight up so um, with that being said um, I know it can be a bit hard because trust me it was hard for me it was very very hard um, but I'm glad that I jumped into this because now it's became a lifestyle I mean obviously I drink obviously I eat bad here and there but for the most part Monday through Friday I try to always um, incorporate my arbon like right now this is my breakfast and having a newborn i don't have time to be cooking breakfast like pancakes and whatever you know like i want to spend most of the time with my newborn i don't want to have to be cooking because i'm hungry or you know or leaving the stove on because he's crying and running to him you know like it's hard it's very very hard or in the mornings my daily routine is i take my daughter to her school and sometimes i just literally just put this in the blender and take it to go and that's it and then i come back and i wash it have a little healthy snack and i will show you guys a little bit more throughout my day what i do have but um you guys this is this is really important especially now with covid striking up again you want to improve your immune system and by improving your immune system you have to eat healthier you have to get those check those ingredients again like I know a lot of people are not about protein shakes, but hey, you know what? Truthfully, if I'm being honest here, I was never about protein shakes. I tried so many different protein shakes and to me, it was just like, it wasn't it. So trust me when I say I totally understand if you're not into protein shakes, but I don't know, for some reason, this protein shake just does it for me. Like it, it's not like thick and um, I'm very about texture and this is like perfect like it's just the right amount of protein and um it's not like all thick and like i don't know i can't explain it because i know most protein shakes are really really thick and you can feel the protein and as opposed to this it's very like soothing like not soothing um it's very what's the right word comment down below if you know the right word that i'm trying to say but y'all understand me <laughs> But yeah, um, so I have two shakes a day um, when I'm on my 30 day uh, gut cleanse. I have two shakes a day and I have one full meal. So you get to choose what you want. So it's either you have your breakfast, um, your shake and lunch, shake and then dinner, a meal, or you get to have, you know, breakfast, my meal, lunch, shake, dinner, shake, or the other way around, vice versa. All, you get to mix it, but as long as you have a breakfast, a lunch, and a dinner. And you get, within those three meals, you incorporate two shakes and one meal, that's it. And then in between, you have your snacks. 
so it's like you're eating every two to three hours so you're never gonna starve you're never gonna deprive from hunger like I know a lot of people come in like oh but you know I I'm a big eater I don't want to starve I don't want to be depriving myself like trust me you guys this is way far from that like you will never deprive yourself like i remember being on my 30 days my first time okay you guys and i was used to eating a lot because i was home during covid so i would just eat 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 my life away and i felt like damn i'm gonna be starving this is gonna be so hard oh my god within my first week i felt like i was eating a lot i even felt like how how am i dropping the weight if i'm eating so much you know but it's just because you're keeping your metabolism going and you're eating healthy so it's not sticking to your belly like other foods you know so it's just really you guys it's all about you if you give it your 100 you will get 100 percent back results and you'll be so happy like um so that was my first time doing it right back in july last year so this year i had my son in june so as soon as i had him I hopped on my 30 days because I knew what I wanted. I knew my results I wanted. I did not want to stay bloated. I did not want to stay with that baby fat. I mean, obviously I'm a big girl, but if I would have stayed with that baby fat, truthfully, I would have been really, really huge. Like, I mean, and this might be TMI, but after I had my son, I weighed more than when I was pregnant. I don't know why. I don't know if it was bloatingness. I don't know if I was if it was inflammation. I don't know what it was, you guys, but I gained more. Like I literally came home from the hospital and I hopped on the scale and I couldn't believe my weight because that was not the weight I was at when I was pregnant. I had gained about six to seven pounds. So it could be inflammation you know i was very very bloated and i was very very swollen so it could that plays a huge part but the fact that i hopped on arbon right away i mean i literally went home i believe saturday and then i hopped on it monday so i did not want to lose any time i knew what i wanted and i knew the results i can get if i really really hopped on it so i went in ham you guys I started the Monday right after I had my son and just a little FYI I didn't stick to the 30 days because you know coming again second time around right after you had a baby right after you have ate everything you've craved it's really really hard and then I felt like this time around my hubby was there for support but it was harder for him because he was getting home late so he wasn't making enough time for dinner so he would just stop by on his way home and get whatever he could so that kind of made it harder on me because I felt like, damn, he's eating things that I know I kind of want, but I know that aren't good for me. So truthfully, if I'm being honest with you guys, I only stick to it for about two weeks and a half. And then after I just did it as a lifestyle and I figured that's what works for me, you know? So um, I did it for two weeks and a half and I literally I dropped 27 pounds. 27 pounds in two weeks and a half that is a lot if you ask me because i don't know i think the first time around the first time around when i did my arbon and i wasn't pregnant i dropped 28 but i did the whole 30 days this time i just stuck to it for two and a half weeks that's why ladies if you are pregnant and you are looking to get healthy right after you have your baby i truthfully honestly strongly suggest you hop on a cleanse or on you know it doesn't have to be arm on whatever you feel comfortable with this is just what worked for me um i suggest you start your diet right away because i believe that as soon as you have your baby whatever you stick to um it works right away i don't know if it's because your body's just like learning to hop back on how it was like to get back to what it was um but it works so well for me and you know i haven't been so good about um sticking to it like i'll have one shake a day and then i'll have a snack and then i'll drink a lot of water and then one meal so i've actually um taken away one shake because you're supposed to have two but i try to just have at least one and i notice i don't get so hungry no more so that's what works for me one shake a day 
and then I'll have about two snacks and my water. And that's what works for me as a lifestyle because now I know that this has helped me out a lot with my anxiety. It's helped me out a lot with um, being, you know, for a big girl, I think I'm pretty active. I don't go out and run because I don't like to run, but I think I can hang and walk for a whole day if you ask me to, you know, because I know that inside, even though I'm a pretty big girl, that I'm healthy. Like, I'm a pretty big, healthy girl. So, um, and then at the end of the day, you guys, all I'm doing it for is my health. Yes, I want to look like freaking J-Lo, you know, obviously who wouldn't want to, but I also know that I need to put more work into it. Like I have to work out or I have to do something. I can't just expect to be healthy and not work out if I want to look like J-Lo, you know? So um, with that being said, I am looking I am looking into possibly start doing walks because um, I, for one, it's a big, big, it's going to be a big, big help because my son doesn't like um, the car seat. So I feel like this will help him out a lot. And then secondly, um, it will help me just to entertain myself. And I don't know if you guys have done your research, but it's, it's, supposedly said that um walks help you out with anxiety a lot with you know depression with stress for me what it is is anxiety but um because sometimes i do still eat bad like i said i try to incorporate at least arbon monday through friday and then on the weekends obviously sometimes i drink sometimes i eat bad most of the time i actually eat bad on the weekends but i like i said you got to pick and choose because if i'm gonna drink i'm not gonna eat as bad you know i'll eat bad but like a little bit and if i'm not gonna drink then i'll eat bad so you can't do both and expect to still look bomb you know like or expect to not gain any weight to me it's about the weight but it's also about me feeling healthy i love just feeling healthy i love feeling like i can breathe i love feeling that you know, I can go for a walk for a while and not have to breathe so heavily because I'm so tired. You know, that makes a huge impact in your life. And um, I, I just love the feeling of not feeling bloated, not feeling, um, you know, inflamada or whatever. But um, yeah, you guys, that's basically my experience with Arbon and my first experience and my second experience after having my uh, my son. So, I mean... Hey, whatever works for you but if you're definitely interested in more information or would like to check out the page i would go i will go ahead and link my um link below um in the description area so be sure to check it out if you're interested and if you have any questions be sure to ask me as well um i'll also be showing you guys my snack let me guys let me just show you real quick what i eat as a snack one second. okay guys so this is my little snack and i actually buy these um sag sandwich thins made with cauliflower i get them from sprouts and they're really really good so i basically use the um sometimes i make my sometimes i make my guacamole and sometimes i buy it today i just bought it from um your local grocery store vallarta which it's really really good you guys if you haven't tried you need to try it because their guacamole is super bomb um it tastes very like um, Hispanic, like the Hispanic guacamole. So it's, and then I'm using the guacamole as my spread. See how I'm just spreading it and I'm using it as spread. And then, okay, and that's it. And then I'm cooking my egg, you guys, which is already done. So I'm just gonna throw it on here. And then, and then guys, I'm gonna put the top layer and that's it. And then sometimes I do add tomatoes when I'm only doing avocado, but since today I did do a walk, it already has tomatoes in it. And this is my snack, you guys. This is as healthy as it gets. By the way, my eggs are cage-free eggs, so here you go, that's my snack. So, bomb. so just to let you guys know this is part of my huge reason why i'm trying to do arbon lifestyle because 
I do have a newborn and I do have to keep up with him. You know, newborns sometimes can be a lot of work. Um, he is up for the most part. He sleeps a lot, um, like towards the afternoon, but during the morning and the daytime, he is awake for a long time. So, you know, if I'm just eating bad and you know not being healthy i tend to get lazy and it's not fair to my kids and it's not fair to my husband so i try to incorporate in my lifestyle just um obviously for my health but also for them because i want to have that energy for them so that you know they feel like i'm obviously involved i don't just want to be a couch potato or or not take them out because I'm being lazy, you know, like it's really unfair to my kids. So that's mainly why I do it. That's just a little, I just wanted to let you guys know real quick because that's why I started the first time because I felt like I was being really, really lazy with my daughter. And I felt like it was so unfair because, you know, she's a toddler and she wants to go out. She wants to go to the playground. She wants to go to the park. She wants to run around. And I didn't have the energy to do all that at the time. So, um, hopping onto Arbon helped me realize like I could do it and you know I could be a big girl still but I have the energy to do so when I eat better so that's one of the main reasons why I do it I do it for myself my health and obviously without my good health then I wouldn't be there for my kids so my kids as well and my husband but yeah you guys that's something that I just wanted to throw out there and now to cook my ground turkey and these are the seasoning salt pepper everything but the bagel paprika and the red cayenne pepper so these are my seasonings i'll be using today to cook up my ground turkey and this does cook up pretty quick i am in a little bit of a hurry so i just seasoned it on top of the pan but normally i like to put it away on a bowl on a bowl and then i put the seasonings and let it sit for about 15 to 20 minutes but today i am in a hurry like i said so i'll just be cooking it real quick and you know just stir around it takes about 10 minutes max and then you should be done with your cooking just keep mixing it guys and that's pretty much it and um you can add lemon if you'd like to okay guys and my tacos are ready i took a little bite i forgot to do a little um taste test Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Mommy, where's my nuggets? I have the guac, the shredded lettuce, and the meat. Another little taste test. Mm, 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 mm. So bomb, guys. Mm. Not to mention, it's also very, 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 very healthy. back you guys i am now clean and showered i am doing my makeup and um i just wanted to continue the video and let you guys know that that's pretty much it as far as my arbon um routine and what it's about and if you do happen to have any questions please um comment down below let me know or personally dm me on instagram underscore the underscore Garcia fam. I will do my best to reply to you as soon as I can. But um, yeah, you guys, that's pretty much it. And this is, you guys, also Arbonne. It's a CC cream. You guys, and I've heard that CC creams help. Oh, and it has um, SPF 30 sunscreen. It's not readable. There you go. I don't know if you guys can see it. Sorry, my nose are so ugly. I gotta go get them done. But yeah, it has SPF 30 sunscreen. Um, ooh. I thought I sprayed it. I thought I, on my shirt. This is what I get for not using this. Though I'm, I'm trying to be quick. So yeah, um, I love the CC cream and I've been told by someone that has really, really great skin. Um, she actually looks a lot younger than her age and she told me that she's been using cc cream her whole life so supposedly it helps with not aging as well i never knew what a cc cream was or bb cream none of that i've always just used like regular foundation you know but um it, i love how it looks you guys will see much it just 
it looks it almost looks like foundation and the fact that it has spf is like amazing because we are in i am in california where it is hot and the sun burns all the time so it's actually really perfect because um it already has sunscreen so i don't have to worry about applying sunscreen to my face which i always tend to forget so i love this because it already has it um see right now once I'm done how it looks and let me know what you guys think of it and again this is all plant-based ingredients 100% vegan you know a lot of if you I'm sorry you guys but whatever makeup brand you use look up the ingredients because a lot of the ingredients are known to cause cancer and other illnesses I don't want to get that deep into it but I would just be careful with what I put on my face just because you know everything nowadays is tend you know known to cause cancer or any other illness but the main one obviously is cancer well that's what stands out you know to everyone so just be careful with what ingredients are in your makeup again these are plant-based ingredients 100% vegan and look at that I mean I freaking love this I just love how like natural it looks it doesn't look cakey oh, it's perfect um, that is it and then I also did use I didn't post it but I did use this it's Arbonne makeup primer by far the best makeup primer ever and I did also use the um, light, yeah, it's shade light concealer from Arbonne as well, which works so, so good. I love it more. I actually, and this is just me being honest, I actually bought the e.l.f. brand and I didn't like it at all, you guys. When I say at all, first of all, look at the thickness in this, like, Who's gonna use this thick old brush? Like, it looks like thicker than the lip gloss one. Like, that is way too much. Did I not? Okay. And then look at this one, how thin it is. I mean, it's just amazing. And honestly, you guys, all I really use concealer for is to shape my eyebrows, like kind of like clean them out. And then the bottom here, obviously for my ojeras. Without this, it looks really bad. But look at now, like it doesn't, like obviously I have some, so you can still kind of see it. But look, it's not that bad, you guys. It looks great. And then I use it for my nose to kind of like reline it or whatever. But yeah, you guys, that's basically it. Um, if you guys have any questions in regards to this product, please feel free to reach out to me. Um, personally, personal, DMs are okay. Like I said, my Instagram or Snapchat, um, everything is down below. I will um, post my link um, in the description below in case you guys are interested in looking at any products. But um, yeah, that's basically it. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you guys for subscribing to my channel. And don't forget to hit that like button. Don't forget to turn on your post notifications. That way you get notified every time I upload a new video. And thank you so much. And don't forget you guys to always, um, I'm saying um too much. Don't forget to always let me know what type of content you want from me. I do post on my Instagram. I post polls or I post to drop questions. Please do not be shy. I've gotten a lot of questions from a lot of people and I will answer them. So um, remember, this is content that I want for you guys, for entertainment, for you guys. So you guys can like it. So you guys are allowed to ask me anything. Um, don't be shy. <laughs> But yeah, you guys, that's it. And for really quick, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Hit that like button. Turn on your post notifications. That way you get notified every time I upload a new video. Peace, you guys. Take care.